Okay, so during this video, what we're going to be doing is traveling through our first example for this week's lab. And um, what we're going to be doing is constructing a parabola. As you can see here, what we've been given is our directrix, which is able DD, this line, our axis, which is traveling perpendicular to our directrix here, and it's traveling through our vertex, which is marked V. According to the question, we're given the directrix, axis, and vertex, as previously mentioned, uh, of a parabola. Uh, draw a portion of the curve okay so we only have to draw a portion a portion of it we don't have to draw the whole thing we don't have to draw half we just have to draw a portion just to show that we can draw the parabola in general uh, as well as that is indicated here that we're supposed to use the eccentricity method now for conics what we should know by this point is that a parabola has an eccentricity of one while a hyperbola has over one an ellipse has less than one so if it has one, we know that we can travel our eccentricity line from where our axis sits to our directrix at 45 degrees. Now, if it was an ellipse, it would have to be less than 45 degrees. And if it was um, a hyperbola, it would be more than 45 degrees. So now that we know it's going to be a hyperbola or a parabola, we know it's going to be 45 degrees. We go up like so. We can call that our ECC. And if you want, you can indicate that that's at 45 degrees. Um, now, what we have to do is find our focal point. We know to find our vertex when we have our focal point. We go at 45 degrees stat till it hits the ECC and drops down and gives our vertex. But now that's the opposite way around and we're given our vertex, what we do is we take the line directly up or parallel to our directrix where it hits our ECC. We come back at 45 degrees like so to our axis and that gives us our focus. Now what we can also do is draw our focal line. So we have our focal line. And now what we can do is we can use our eccentricity method, which will be in the book. So I'll carry it out here and just show you quickly. I think I should be at the start. Yep, so still grab a little bit. There it is, yeah. As you can see here, this is going to be the method that we're using. If you want more information how the method works, refer back to the book here, read through this carefully, look at what each individual line is talking about in relation to the drawing it's indicating. So if it talks about figure 7.7, .7, come down to your figure 7.7 .7 or so, sometimes it's on a separate page. Just ensure that you're, um, I suppose, breaking down the information and relating it back to the drawing that's given as well. So now what we can do is use that method to complete this drawing. To do that, I'm just going to be taking lines randomly as you can see here over to our ECC eccentricity line and I'm going to take a few of them so I only need a few points in the curve to draw it what I can do then is drop where they come in contact with the ECC line drop that straight down or parallel to your directrix or perpendicular to your axis whichever one you'd like to call it like so you get your compass then rest it on your focus and you extend out any one of these heights here you'll have to do each individual one so we'll go for the smallest one first swing it back till it hits the line that you drop down from where it hit the ECC like so Now we have a few different points in the curve. I'm going to highlight them points so you can see them nice and clearly. There, there, there. And it's also going to hit here where the focal line hits the ECC, eccentricity line, here, and back to the vertex. You can see there, that is our curve for our parabola. 
Now, we actually have our question now answered. That's enough uh, at the curve itself to show that you can complete the method, um, ECC or the eccentricity method of drawing a parabola, as well as that you've also indicated your ability to identify the focus when given the information you have been, uh, and also shown that you can have an understanding for the eccentricity at 45 degrees for a parabola. Now, what I am also going to add on to this question, I might as well while I'm here, what you can also do is make a tangent at a different point. So for instance, if I want to do a tangent at a point here on the curve, this is not part of the question, just, just additional work. Let's say if we want a tangent to hit exactly here at this point that we found, all you have to do is join that directly back to your focal point. And then where it hits the focal point, you need a 40 or a 90 degree line to this line. So this line that we've drawn here, we want to go 90 degrees to it. So it's going to go out in this direction. Do that, do like so, line it up, best as possible. And then all you have to do is draw your line like so. Indicate that this is at 90 degrees, just to show. As well as that, where it makes contacts with your directrix, if you join that back to your original point, it should be tangential to the curve itself. And that construction works with all conics. So if you have the directrix, you have a point on the curve, you can complete this same construction to find a tangent.